Well, we've had a lot of questions from people over the years about why we chose to tow a Mini Cooper convertible behind our motorhome. So that's what this video is about today. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, Julie and Mark here from RV Love. Well, as you, most of you probably know, we've been towing a, our orange Mini Cooper convertible, which we lovingly nicknamed Juice, behind our motorhome since we hit the road in June 2014. And in that time, we've either towed or driven it to all of the lower 48 states and driven about 40,000 miles. A lot of people don't necessarily understand why we chose the Mini, so we thought this would be a great opportunity to share some of what our thoughts were and why we made that choice. When we were weighing up what type of vehicle we wanted to travel with in our RV life, the first place we started was in our own garage. Yeah, and I would advise that of anybody, but in our garage, we actually had two sports cars. We had a Subaru WRX and a 2004, 2004 Mazda Miata. So two very sporty cars and we're both drivers. We love having spirited cars. The only other thing in our garage that was motorized was a racing go-kart because I love to go racing go-karts. In fact, I towed it behind the Miata when I'd go to the track. And so we love to drive. And so when we were looking at those two cars and we couldn't choose between one or the other, we decided we needed to find a car that was a good mix of those two sporty cars that are already in our garage. And while we could have chosen to tow either of those two cars that we already had, there were a couple of reasons why we decided not to. One is the Miata wasn't really practical because it's a very small convertible car and it doesn't have a back seat. So we obviously needed a back seat for our dog, Coda. So that ruled the Miata out. The reason we chose not to tow the Subaru WRX, while it would have been a great tow vehicle, is still had a payment on it. In fact, we still had a payment on both cars. We didn't want to overcommit financially and we were really a little concerned about towing a car that was too new behind the bus so we decided to sell the Subaru and the Miata so that we'd be able to just pay cash for a cheaper car. Yeah because that was a really important thing for us is we wanted to be fiscally responsible when we hit the road so we set out to get the best of both worlds a sporty convertible with a back seat for the dog. And so that led us to the Mini. It's a 2006 Mini Cooper S convertible and it's in hot orange not by accident. <laughs> Not by accident. In <laughs> we, fact, we searched all over to be able to get that specific color. And flew into Las Vegas from Denver to pick it up once we found one that met our exact criteria. So let's talk about some of that criteria now because some of these thought processes that we went through to decide on our Mini as a tow vehicle may help you deciding what tow vehicle whether it's a Mini or not, we're not here to tell everyone that Mini's the best tow vehicle because it isn't. It was the best one for us, you know, but, so it's been great. But uh, let's, let's go through some of those now. Yeah, first of all, that car says fun. Mm -hmm. It's bright orange, it's convertible. You get out and we knew we were going to be in really good weather all the time because we were going to be chasing. Not all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> but we knew we were going to be following the good weather and so we were confident we'd be able to really use the convertible a lot mm -hmm. and both being drivers we knew we were going to be driving on some of the best roads in the country. Mm -hmm. So having a car that would be fun to drive on those roads was really important to us. Definitely. Another thing that was really important to us was to have it small and lightweight. Uh, that's so that it could be easy to park on our campsite and also when we're out exploring finding parking spaces would be really easy with a small car and being small and lightweight it would be easy to tow for our motorhome because our tow limit on our motorhome is only 5,000 pounds so it had to be a lightweight small car. We wanted something that was fuel efficient. Our motorhome gets about seven miles per gallon, whether we're towing or not, really. So that's about <laughs> the average. As long as we stay under 65 miles per hour, our sweet spot's 58 to 60 miles per hour, gives us about seven miles per gallon. Whereas the Mini gives us about 30 miles per gallon when we're driving on highways. I think we average 25 to 30 miles per gallon. So when we look at the cost of fuel over the course of a year, we don't look at just the coach because obviously seven sounds low. But when you average it out with all of our driving, we spend about a third of the miles, about eight and a half to 9,000 a year in the motorhome. Right. And about two thirds of our miles, about 11, 12,000 a year in the Mini. So a combined 20,000 miles per year. So that really helps average out our overall fuel economy with two thirds being in the Mini and one third with the coach. We also really liked that the Mini was a front wheel drive car. 
being a manual transmission, we can tow it four down, but we actually chose to tow it on a dolly because we weren't sure about investing so heavily into a four down setup for a car that was already really inexpensive, especially not knowing if the car was gonna be a long-term fit and also because being on a dolly, it would lift it up off the ground a bit. And we were brand new to RVing. This is the first time we'd ever owned an RV. It was the first time we'd ever full-time RV'd. So we weren't even sure if we were going to like it. We were pretty confident we were going to like it, but not confident enough to invest that amount from day one. And plus spending less helped us hit the road sooner. <laughs> Absolutely. So another fact for us in choosing the Mini was the social club. Mini has a very, very active mini social clubs all around the country. They've got clubs in multiple states and they've got a huge event every two years called Mini Takes the States. And that was really high value for us when we had our Miata. We joined the Miata Club. It's one of the reasons we bought a Miata so we could go for weekend drives with other car lovers like us and go on epic drives around the state. We did that in Colorado. It was amazing. We had so much fun. We loved it. And we thought, wouldn't it be great if we could do that with the Mini? And we have done that a few times. We, we have. We we were on Highway 1, uh, parked on the side of the road when we met a gal in a hot pink mini convertible. Chrissy, we've stayed friends to this day. We've met up since in uh, Niagara Falls and at a Mini Take the States event in uh, South Dakota, actually, in Sturgis. So that was very high value for us, as knowing we were going to be traveling the country, being able to expand our social community to other mini owners and drivers was definitely, and, uh, definitely a factor for us. Because in general, yeah. mini owners are really fun, outgoing people and they, they will wave at you and you can yep. wave back and it just creates this little mini community out on the road. Our friend Chrissy with the Hot Pink Mini's dad said, if everyone drove a mini, there would be world peace. And <laughs> we kind of tend to agree. <laughs> I never met an angry mini owner yet. Not yet. <laughs> Another thing we really love about the Mini is it's surprisingly spacious for being such a small car, uh, especially when the top is down. We've done some big Costco shops, even when we've forgotten to take the folding bike out of the back seat and mm -hmm. still be able to pack it all into that car. As long as you only have two people, and yeah. especially if the weather's good, you can put the top down, you have un almost unlimited Your cargo space. Your storage is unlimited <laughs> when you go up. <laughs> the Mini is a small car. We're not gonna kid you about that. But part of our RV lifestyle is also about not carrying extra stuff we don't need. So another really important factor was ergonomics. The car had to be really comfortable for both of us to drive. So I'm about five foot eight, and I've got plenty of room in this car. Some people think they're little clown cars and you have to be a small person to drive them, but you're actually much larger than they first appear. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a little vertically challenged. I'm actually less than five feet tall. And so of course, getting a car that was going to be ergonomically comfortable for me and that I wasn't feeling like I was not able to see over the dash was hugely important for both of us. So the Mini is perfect. It's really, really great for me to be able to drive as well as for Mark. And of course, it's fun. So if you haven't already checked out our website, we have a blog post called how to choose the ideal toad for you. And that talks you through not only the steps we went through in deciding what was the ideal toad for us, but also gives you some questions and food for thought to help you narrow down what might be the best tow vehicle for you. Because as much as we love our Mini, we are definitely not saying it's for everyone. It definitely isn't for everyone. But if you'll know it, if you're, we get a lot of people email and tell us that they're towing Minis now too. And I think the fact that we've been doing it is showing that it's definitely possible. And it sure is a blast of a car to drive when you're traveling around the country. And if you're not really sure about how you're gonna to wanna to tow your vehicle, we also have a blog post that talks about the pros and cons of towing flat, four down, or on a dolly. And we also have a video where Mark shows how he loads the Mini onto the tow dolly. So no matter what kind of vehicle you might be planning to tow with a dolly, there'll be some great tips on that to help you as well. We'll put the links to all of those posts and videos down in the description below. So let's recap on the pros and cons of choosing a Mini as your tow vehicle. All right, so first let's talk about the pros. First of all, it's fun. It's a really fun car to drive. It's sporty, so if you like something that's zippy and got some get up and go, Minis are great, if you get the S. It's an economical car considering its performance in that we were averaging close to 30 miles to gallon, which helps offset the lower fuel economy of our motor. There's not much that beats jumping in a sporty little car with the top off the car after you've been driving a big lumbering bus down the road for a few hours. Of course, it's hard to beat a convertible when you're driving some of the best roads in the country. 
It's small and lightweight, so it's easy to tow and it's easy to fit on our campsite. So most minis, unless you get the cabriolet, have a back seat. So if you have kids, pets, want to carry passengers, or just do a great big Costco shop, you've got plenty of space to do that. Well, maybe not plenty, but you have space to do that <laughs> in the back. And the mini we chose was front wheel drive, which also meant we could tow it on a dolly. So regardless of what vehicle you're planning to tow and whether you're planning to tow it four down on a dolly or whether you're considering a mini or something else, be sure to check the motorhome and dinghy towing guides because it can depend on the year, the make, the model. It can depend on a number of factors. It can depend on a lot. Be very specific in that part of your research. Well, let's put a link to the motorhome dinghy towing guide down below as well. All right. We love that there are plenty of mini owners social clubs around the country and that every two years they have a big national event that you can join up and travel as far or as wide as you wish with a whole lot of other fun loving mini owners. So we found it to be very very reliable. Uh, we had very few mechanical issues with the mini and uh, it was pretty easy to get servicing around the country. Sometimes we took it to a mini dealership and other times we just went to a regular shop for an oil change. One of the features we really love about the convertible on this car is that it has the main top, but then this front section is like a little sunroof. It's one of the few cars that has a two-stage convertible top. Surprisingly, the Mini is ergonomically comfortable and a fit for people of all heights. And, of course, it looks great on Instagram. <laughs> it looks so fun in photos and videos and it everything. Does it look, doesn't it look fun? It is fun. One of the great things about a Mini is that it drives like a go-kart. And one of the not so great things about a Mini is it drives like a go-kart. <laughs> Too true. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about a few of the cons. Um, the first one that comes to mind is one that other people point out to us all the time in that it's not a really great car for off payment or off road use. Definitely not good for that. We tried and it doesn't work. It's not optimal, but <laughs> we knew that and we were okay with that because we are predominantly road drivers. Right. Of course, the Mini, it is small. I mean, I know to most of you out there and some of you drive big trucks, you're going to think the Mini is tiny. And by comparison, yes, it is. But remember, we were comparing it to a Miata and a Subaru sports car. So for us, it was actually a really great size. Yeah, and that con can be a limit for people who need to carry more people. Mm -hmm. For us, it's just the two of us. And at the time, we had Coda. It was plenty of passenger room for us, but if you have four people, or a lot of pets, or, or big a lot pets. of pets, or big pets, then it's probably not a great fit. Exactly. The car is fairly low to the ground, so if you are towing it and you're and there's some obstacles in the road or some bumps, it can bottom out the car um, mm -hmm. or hit damage to the front of the car. We didn't experience that much because we towed our car up on a dolly. So for any of you that have been following us for some time here on YouTube or on Facebook or Instagram, you would have seen what a blast it has been driving our Mini. We've driven some of the most beautiful roads in the entire country, like Highway 1 in California, through the Red Rocks of Sedona, up in Maine, through the fall colors up in the northeast. The California Redwoods, on coastal drives on both sides of the country. We've done Colorado mountains, through the desert of Arizona, all the way around Florida. The car has been on an amazing adventure with us. We've traveled 48 states and over 40,000 miles with it. It's been an absolute joy. and We have been so happy with that choice of car for our tow vehicle. And we had no payment. We've had no payment the whole time. So, you know, even though it was an older car, it's been really reliable for us. And all good things must come to an end. So we are actually talking about making a change. We actually have, have made, made a change. change. <laughs> <laughs> but that is for a whole other video. And just a caveat right now is the fact that we've made a change doesn't mean at all that we've been unhappy or had any regrets whatsoever with our Mini. We've yeah. loved that car. Hope that what we've shared in this video today has helped you decide whether or not a Mini is for you or just some of the things that we shared help you decide what other tow vehicle might be right for you. And of course, we've left you with a cliffhanger now wondering what other vehicle have we changed to? So stay, stay tuned. tuned. Does that really mean? A <laughs> little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Sorry, but it's fun. <laughs> so ponder on that. And until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road. Okay. Look like I've got a big palm tree coming out of my head. <laughs> it looks like a hat.
<laughs> it does. Maybe you can move that way. We'll have matching hats. Try it. <laughs> a sporty con so we set out to get the boast of Beth. I'm actually five foot eight tall, and so I'm kind of four foot eight. Yeah. Standing on a step still right now. Yeah, yeah, that's that's funny. funny. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> Parking lot, so give it some stick. <laughs> 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 